In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about special right triangles. The first case of a special right triangle is the 45-45-90. And it's called the 45-45-90 because you've got two angles in your right triangle that are 45 degrees and one that's 90. The terminology that you need here are the two uh, legs that are or the two sides that are congruent are called legs and of course this side is always your longest it's your hypotenuse and it's always across from the right angle the other thing that we know about these is that the relationship is if this is in this leg is also in they have to be equal to each other and then this is in square root 2 now you can confirm that if you would like using the Pythagorean theorem. In this tutorial, we're not going to do that. So here's how you solve this. So if I know that my legs are seven, then I know that this hypotenuse is n square root two. I know that my legs are equal to n, so I just do some substitution, so I know my hypotenuse is seven square root two. Okay, here's another example. If I know that my hypotenuse is 11 square root 2, then I know that that equals n square root 2. So I can divide both sides by my square root 2, and I know that n equals 11. Okay, one more example that I could do let's make it a little bit harder this time, is I have my right triangle. I'm told that these two sides are, or these two angles are congruent, so I know it's a 45-45 right triangle. If this is 16 and I want to find my sides, well, I know based on my formula right here that my hypotenuse is n square root 2. So I know that my hypotenuse is n square root 2. So I'm going to use this equation to solve for n. So n square root 2 equals 16. I'm going to divide both sides by square root 2. So I get n equals 16 over square root 2. Now I need to rationalize that denominator. So I'm going to multiply by square root 2 over square root 2. So that gives me that n equals 16 square root 2 over square root 2 times square root 2 is just 2. And then I can simplify that further with 8 over square root 2 when I reduce here. Now, here's a problem for you to solve. Okay, stop the video and try it. Now, the second type of special right triangle, you may remember, is the 30-60-90 triangle. And it's called that because you have a 30-degree angle, a 60-degree angle, and of course, your 90-degree angle. Now, the terminology that goes along with this is that you have a short leg a long leg, and again, you have your hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse, again, is always across from your right angle. The way that you know which is your short leg and which is your long leg is that the short leg is always across from the 30 degree angle, the smaller angle, and the long leg is always across from the bigger angle, okay? So that's the way you can match those up. The relationship between these are as follows. If you know the short leg is n, then you know the hypotenuse is 2n, and the long leg is n times square root 3. So let's try one of these types of problems. So if I know that this angle is 30, this is a right angle, so automatically I know I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 
since all the angles of the triangle have to add up to 180. So I know this is my short leg. So suppose I know it is 9. Then I know, based on my theorem here, that n is 9 because that's my short leg. My um, hypotenuse is 2n and my long leg is n times square root 3. So just using substitution, I have 2 times 9, n is 9, my hypotenuse is 18, and here I make the substitution 9 square root 3. Another little bit more difficult one could be if, what if I know this is 24? So this is my hypotenuse. If I know that this is my 30 degree angle and this is my 60 degree angle. I know that my short leg is here, it's n. My hypotenuse is 2n and my long leg is n square root 3. So I can solve here for n. So here is the equation that I'm able to set up. So I know that um, n equals 12. So therefore, I can fill in just using substitution for my other sides. Now, what if I had something a little bit different from that? What if I knew my long leg? So let's say the long leg, so here's 60, so this is my long leg, and let's say we know it's 15. How can we find the rest? Well, we still know our theorem holds. So we know this is 2n, we know this is n, our short leg across from the 30, and we know that 15 is n square root 3. So this is the equation that we're going to solve. So I'm going to write n square root 3 equals 15. Divide both sides by square root 3. I need to rationalize that denominator. And I get 5 square root 3. So that means that n equals 5 square root 3. So that's my short side. Now, when I plug it in up here, I have 2 times 5 square root 3, multiplying outside times outside, so 10 square root 3 is the length of my hypotenuse. And that's a review of special right triangles. Here's one for you to try. So given that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and if you're given that the long leg is 18, find the hypotenuse. 